In today's funny story joke, get ready for a classroom comedy caper starring the one and only Little Johnny. This tale promises a blend of comedy, wit, and unexpected twists that will leave you laughing out loud. Our story begins with Mrs. Smith, a teacher with a flair for the quirky and humorous. Known for her funny questions and lighthearted approach, she turns an ordinary classroom quiz into an unforgettable joke-filled adventure. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this funny story. In the small, charming town of Evergreen, there was a school where humor and curiosity often collided in delightful ways. Mrs. Smith, a teacher known for her unique approach to education, had a penchant for asking quirky questions during her weekly quiz sessions. Her classroom was a place where the ordinary turned extraordinary, and today was no exception. As the sun streamed through the windows of room 5B, Mrs. Smith decided it was time for her favorite part of the day, the quirky quiz session. She smiled mischievously as she scanned the room, her eyes settling on little Johnny, the class clown. Johnny was known for his lightning-fast wit and mischievous nature, always ready with a clever retort or a cheeky grin. All right, class, it's time for our quiz. Mrs. Smith announced, her voice brimming with enthusiasm. Today, I have a particularly interesting question for you all. The students leaned forward, intrigued. Little Johnny, sitting at the back of the class, smirked, ready for whatever was coming his way. Mrs. Smith's eyes twinkled as she asked, Who stole the pears from the tree in my garden? A hush fell over the classroom, eyes darted to little Johnny, who was notorious for his pranks. Mrs. Smith, suspecting Johnny, pointed directly at him. Johnny, do you know what happened to the pears in my garden? Johnny, ever the quick thinker, responded with a straight face. Ma'am, can you please speak up? I can't hear you from the back of the class. Mrs. Smith, unimpressed but undeterred, repeated the question louder. Johnny, do you know what happened to the pears in my garden? Once again, Johnny feigned innocence. Ma'am, I still can't hear you from back here. The class giggled softly, anticipating the unfolding drama. Mrs. Smith, sensing Johnny's game, decided to turn the tables. All right, Johnny, let's switch places. You come to the front and I'll sit in your seat at the back. Then you can ask me a question and we'll see if I can hear you. Johnny, seeing no way out, reluctantly made his way to the front of the class. Mrs. Smith took his seat at the back folding her arms and giving him an expectant look. Johnny, now standing at the front, surveyed the room, his mind racing. He needed to come up with something quick. Suddenly, a mischievous idea popped into his head. He cleared his throat and with a straight face asked, When my mommy was away last weekend visiting Granny, a lady visited my daddy and made love to him. Do you know who that lady was? But this funny story joke ain't over just yet. The room fell into an almost eerie silence. The students' eyes widened, and Mrs. Smith's face turned a shade of crimson. She was caught off guard, but managed to compose herself quickly. Johnny, this time you're right. I can't hear anything from back here. If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.